everyone, I'm Caroline and today I thought we'd have a haul video. I love rummaging in charity shops. I found some really interesting things and also I had some things for free too. So I thought you'd like to see them and the only way to show you is over on my desktop. So no time for chatting. Let's go have a look. I do love the free box in one of our local charity shops. They put the most unusual things in there. Sometimes there's nothing I want. Sometimes I get some good things. And here are some of the things I got in the free box. I got this Christmas pick. That's really pretty. Look at those sparklies. Ooh, we all love a bit of sparkly. So that is going to be put in my Christmas box ready for Christmas in July. And I got this, which seems to be pull some bits out a Thomas the Tank Engine set this is Curved Wall Truck A Thomas and Friends Take Along 2007 it's even got a play mat rather grubby <laughs> I think somebody's been playing with this in the garden so I think that's probably going to have to go in the bin but the plastic track could come in handy not quite sure what for oh there's a crossing thingy there I wonder what you do with that I think maybe you pick it up yourself. And it's broken. So it's not perfect, but it is amazing how useful these little bits can come when you're building something. Perhaps you need a little bit of support or structure. And I may, may be able to come up with an idea to use these for something. I can't think what... Oh, I tell you one thing. It's in another one of these arches. Oh, no. There's only the one arch. Otherwise, I could have made something like a Christmas arch with a... Christmas diorama in on a little plinth. I've got these. No, they're not really going to do it either. I'll see what I can come up with, but I'm sure I'm going to have fun with these. And at the price, not bad at all. Also in the free box was this, Cauldron. It wasn't until I got it home and looked at it closely, I realised <laughs> it's a candle. Because it looks really effective, doesn't it? Very metallic. So that will come in handy for Halloween. I can't think of any other use for a cauldron, but you never know. I may come up with something. I saw these bits of wood. Pick them up. I'm not sure what they are, so let's have a look. So if they're bits of wood, I can always use them. Oh, we've got some pine cones. And oh, some popsicle sticks and a glue stick. Ooh, is it glittery? Oh, yes. don't know if that's picking up a good Free glittery glue stick. Oh, no, 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 it's not glittery. <laughs> it's just this glitter on the outside of the glue stick. I shall pop that in my glue stick jar. And we've got some wood rounds that have been painted. Oh, yes, there's glitter everywhere. We're going to be in a mess. We've got six wood rounds. That one's got a heart glue to it, which is bursting open. But that, I think we could either re-glue that or use the front of it without the back of it. We'll think about it. These have been painted with metallic paints, so they're pretty. And oh, there's one little bead with some glue on. Some little bits of metallic thread and two golden popsicle sticks. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do with those yet. There isn't enough to make a wreath, really. Oh, I could make a very small wreath. And then, oh, put the heart at the bottom, round like that. And put some pine cones there. And I don't know what we could do with these. <laughs> so I can't think of something to use everything up at once. But as you can see, there's plenty of potential here. I can repaint these. I can sand them down. Plenty of options. So for nothing, I wasn't going to leave those there. That's better. There was also this butterfly, <laughs> which is... Hmm, some butterfly off some garden ornament but it'll come in useful it's metal so i'm sure i'll be able to do something with that i may repaint it because it's a bit tatty and also this it's an easel they painted it metallic pink and this has been glued on so i've got myself a canvas i've got myself a little easel that i can repaint or repurpose whatever i fancy doing I think this originally had a frame as well because there's some glue there. So something was stuck on. Possibly more of this. Yes, it looks like it was a bit of plastic. But that, for nothing, brilliant. 
And it was also this. I have no idea what it was because I didn't have my glasses on. So I can have a look now. I've got a nourishing body wash, firming body cream, hydrating body lotion and reactive bo reactivating body serum. Oh, I'll be stunningly beautiful after slopping that lot on. <laughs> For nothing, might as well pick it up, give it a try. We're moving on from the free pile now. I do have some other free things, but they weren't free in the same way as those things were free. I got some balloons because I want to use some balloons in my craft. And I was looking round and I was too mean to pay the prices that they were asking. And I saw these. Well, I'll show you the price. It's a bit crinkly, sorry. One pound reduced to 20p. And it's those ones. You can see if you blow those up, they've got all glitter inside. I don't know if it'll come out. No, it's tied there. But... I've got myself some flea glitter in a golden colour. Or what would you call those? Confetti type things. And also these with a flamingo on the front. <laughs> it doesn't matter what colour they are. I purely want to blow them up to put paper mache, things like that on top. So I've got a good selection of balloons there for 20p with some free confetti. I was in Asda's and I saw this for reduced from 149 to 15p and I thought I'd like to try out, see how good this blue gel food colour is for using in arts and crafts. Apparently it's super strength. Let's have a look. I'll probably end up covered in blue. I've already got some red. Where is it there where I've been playing with my red ink? Right, let's have a look. Squirt some onto there. Oh, yes, that's very deep coloured. i show you there. Very dark. Pop the lid back on. And do I have any water in my water brush? Typical, no. I've got my water bottle here. Let's see what happens if we dilute this and paint it. Oh, that's very nice. Lovely sky colour. Yep. I think we'll have some fun with that and see how well it dries and what it'll stick to and does it peel off things or does it fade away. We'll find out. Right, now for my 50p photo frames. I do love rummaging in the 50p photo frames box, although the pile is getting less and less and they don't seem to be replenishing it. So I think that that bargain is fast coming to an end. We got this and you can see it's like a woven, well it's not even woven, it's sewn. It seems to be some sort of reeds or grass. And it's got a little opening on the back. There. For 50p. Even though I've got to clean it. Can't be bad. And I got these. Now the pictures are very faded. But I don't mind that. Because I'm not keeping these pictures in here. I bought them purely for the frames. Obviously they're not really old. But that doesn't matter. Because when you look at them. You can't tell. And I can also age these if I wanted to. With a little bit of dark wax. To make them look older. But I'll be putting new pictures in there. Not quite sure what yet, but a pair of them like this. A pound for the pair. Can't go wrong. I got this for 50p. A block of wood for 50p seems a bit expensive. If I turn it over, it's got a honeycomb section of numbers. Now, what I'm thinking, I don't know if it's going to work. It could be a disaster. But I'm wondering whether I can put some glue onto a picture of a bee or something like that, and then put these on top of the picture and then cut around them with my scarpel and make a bee jigsaw puzzle. So that's the plan and it sounds wonderful on paper. Whether it'll really work, I don't know. I may end up munching up the paper or they don't go together well, but we'll find out. And I think that is going to be a bit of fun. And for 50p, you can have quite a lot of fun. Very good value for money. I was in the charity shop and saw these. Now, these are little. I do also have two two metre pieces and one one metre piece. And they are, if I turn this over, Richard Burbridge, which is a very expensive brand for all forms of wood mouldings. Now, I can't find these painted ones on there. And if I show you, I think they were probably painted at home. I could be wrong, but I don't think they came like that. And for the other five metres, plus all these little bits, I paid the grand sum of £2. 
<laughs> so you can't go wrong at two pounds. I'm saying that a lot in this video. You can't go wrong. But I think at two pounds, that's excellent. So what? one of the things I was thinking, I take some of these bits out. This was obviously a dado rail or something, and it's been removed. And I could... I've got some preformed corners, so I don't know whether I'd carry on with that theme because they're very small. But I may make a shadow box. And I can make shelves for child's toys, anything like that. I can join them together as planks and make an interesting picture, I suppose. I don't know how that would work. Mm, we could think about it. I could make a picture frame, cut these at 45 degrees, and then I've got myself a picture frame. Obviously, not like that. So, lots of uses for these. I'm really not sure what to use them for just yet. I haven't actually been thinking of things along a child's theme, but maybe for Christmas time, I will be looking for ideas for children's toys that you can make yourself. And in that case, these will be perfect. Cotton velvet. Vintage cotton velvet. Very expensive. This is actually a cotton velvet curtain. It's got his lining, which is a little bit grubby, but I could pop that in the wash. But how much do you think it would cost for this much velvet? These are 60 inches wide, 72 inches long. Can you imagine how much that would cost for that size of vintage cotton velvet? Plus a little bit of extra that I can use for whatever. I can use it for making shabby chic bows, things like that. The interiors of bags, bases for putting things on. I paid, wait for it, one pound. That's not a very good one. There's a better one, <laughs> one pound. So that I'm going to have a lot of fun with. I, the one thing I really like with cotton velvet, funnily enough, is pumpkins. They make such gorgeous pumpkins. They look so sumptuous because the sheen and the colour change on this velvet. Look at that. You can see there. Look at all the different colours. You go to virtually white there. Where is it? To there. To virtually black, it's very difficult. I'm looking at my screen there. That's virtually black and every shade of pink in between. It's amazing, isn't it? So that I'm very pleased with. I do love finding a good curtain. Back to some freebies now. I was in Hobbycraft and they had a box marked free packaging. So I took bubble wrap, lots of bubble wrap that was there. And I got this. Now this... Um, I don't know if you can see on the end there. I haven't got the space to show you. This is from a bolt of fabric. But look how thick it is. And it's been edged nicely with some tape. I am going to use this. No, I can't show you. It's too long. I'm going to use this for a very long image of something. I'm going to put some paper on the top and then paint on it. Put a hanger on the back and that is really a substantial looking piece of art material and it's so light. If I throw it like that, I don't know if you can tell, but it certainly doesn't come clomping down. It's very lightweight. So that is going to make a lovely base for some interesting art. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm getting into abstract art. I don't know why, but it's appealing to me at the moment. So I may put some abstract art on there, but it will be turning into some form of wall art. Hmm, then would I go... Landscape or portrait? Questions, questions. I'll see what inspiration strikes me when I decide to go for it. I also got this from the same box. This is hardboard, it's not cardboard. So I can use this for making crafts with. I can use it for backing things like where are my bits of wood? If, for instance, I was going to make some bookshelves with this wood. I could use that for backing on it and that will hold it together and I can paint the insides of the shelf and the back the same colour if I wanted to and glue and staple this and it should be fine. It's another long piece I suspect it's from another bolt of fabric perhaps or on top of their palette if they had some delicate things coming in. Could be something like that. And I also got this, which is another thing for the inside of a fabric bolt. Now, it's not as pretty as the other one. It's not edged nicely. It's a bit rounded. It's got that line there. But I don't think there's one there as well where they pull the fabric very tight on it. But I still think that that has potential for something because it's so solid. 
I can't bend it. It's as solid as a piece of wood. So I'm not sure what to make with that. I could use it to hang things up on even because I think you could screw something into that, add a little blob of glue and it would still hold in place. So that's what I think I'll probably do is turn it into a hanging decoration. Let's have a look. Now, this is all going to be completely wrong theme, but I could put a decoration at the top and then I could put a name plaque. <laughs> I know, I know it isn't a name plaque. And I could write the word keys on there and then I could put some key hooks all the way down if you've got a lot of keys. Or I could put, aha, I could put something like, we'll pretend this is a mirror. So we could put a mirror there, then the sign saying keys, and then put some key hooks down here. Obviously, I would paint this with a wood effect, so it would look like wood. And then, you imagine that, some sort of either picture or floral display, something relevant at the top. Even if you could get one of those stag's heads, they're fun. If you've seen those, you could put one, the little polystyrene ones that are covered in whatever. You could put one there, and then you could put a mirror, then you could put your word saying key, and then some key decorations and even a little embellishment on the bottom. I think that would look quite nice. I'm actually inspired to do that. I haven't got time today. It was really frustrating, but I think that is going to be a bit of fun. So uh, that is probably what I'm going to do with that piece of cardboard. And we'll see if we can make it look high end from a tatty old free bit of cardboard from Hobbycraft. Oh, I do love a bargain and I can't wait to get started making craft items with those things that I got. Cheap, often nothing. My favourite price. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and it would be great if you could subscribe and that way you'll get to see all the things I make with my thrift store finds. I'll see you all next time, but until then, don't forget, happy crafting and have fun!